Krypton is a chemical element whose symbol is Kur and the atomic number is 36. It is a colorless, odorless, and tasteless inert gas that exists in a trace amount in the atmosphere, and is obtained by fractional distillation of liquid air. Krypton was discovered in 1898 by William Ramsey and Maurice Travers. They discovered Krypton while distilling all the ingredients in the liquefied air and examining the remaining ingredients, and a few weeks later found neon in the same way. As a result, Ramsey received the 1904 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for discovering inert gases, including Krypton. The name, Krypton, is derived from the Greek word, Kryptos, meaning, hidden. This name was chosen because of the gas relatively low concentration in the Earth's atmosphere. Krypton makes up only about one part per million of the atmosphere. Krypton is used in fluorescent lamps along with other inert gases. It undergoes few chemical reactions, but combines with fluorine to form a compound. In nuclear tests, it occurs as fission along with barium and xenon and is used as evidence of nuclear tests. Krypton, like other inert gases, is chemically very reactive. However, in 1962, xenon compounds were artificially produced, and in 1963, krypton difluoride, krypton difluoride, was synthesized under extreme conditions. In 1960, there was an international agreement to define the length of one meter based on the wavelength of light emitted by krypton-86. As a result, standard meters made of platinum and iridium alloys that were previously used were no longer in use. This method is no longer used now, redefining the meter based on the speed of light. The mixed gas of argon and krypton enters the energy-efficient filler of fluorescent lamps. This has the advantage of low power consumption of fluorescent lamps, but has the disadvantage of low light emission and high price. In addition, the mixed gas of krypton and xenon plays a role in preventing the evaporation of filaments to some extent when placed in an incandescent lamp. In this case, a brighter light is produced than a typical incandescent lamp, and more blue light is emitted. Krypton's white light is useful for making the color you want when you enter a neon sign, etc. In addition, since the red area of the spectrum emits stronger red light than neon, krypton lasers are used instead of helium neon lasers when strong red lasers are needed. Krypton may not be as well known as some other elements, but its unique properties and applications make it an important part of modern science and technology.